the most important part of any aircraft carrier is also the most dangerous, the flight deck. Whoa. A floating airfield for warplanes loaded with fuel, bombs, and missiles. The risks are enormous. It's toxic. Computer simulation helps the air crew plan for the worst. Launch the jet. Whoa. <laughs> Maritime aviation at its best. Operating at sea is not rocket science, but operating at sea is bloody dangerous. You know, there's a whole load of people who have gone before us who have learnt the hard way as to why you do certain things. I'd be a bloody fool to ignore what our forefathers did. That's nice. There you go. Wow. We've solved the problem. It's probably worth just explaining about an airfield. An airfield has a 10,000 foot runway. OK, and we know what's going to happen on the runway. That's where the jets are going to be taking off and landing. But at the same time on that airfield, you're going to have to have a bomb dump. You're going to have to have a fuel dump. You're going to have to somewhere where you're going to house everyone. And there'll be an HQ section. But all of those in a 2,000 acre estate are spread out. You keep the bombs away from the runway. You keep the fuel away from the runway. You keep the fuel away from the accommodation. Our ship, which although the biggest thing the Navy's ever built, compared to this 10,000 foot runway, our ship is there. We've got a metal box. In there, there'll be a magazine. There'll be the fuel. And if you think of the flight deck area and all the armed aircraft up there that are both operating, rearming, refueling, there's a lot of potential risks that we have to manage. Without their own flight deck to train on, the Queen Elizabeth aircraft handlers are practicing on a dummy deck ashore. It's only a third the size of their own, and the old decommissioned Harrier jets can't even fly. But things are moving forward. There will be things that are getting wrong, but they're ultimately, um, this, is, this is our practice. What we do it on the deck for real, with the ship manoeuvring, with a bit more sort of operational pressure, we can't afford to get it wrong. So we'll get all our mistakes out of the way here, and then when the real jets turn up, we'll be in a better place. The real jets will be top secret F-35B Lightning stealth fighters. These are still in development and kept strictly under wraps. So none of the deck handlers have ever seen one much less handled one. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm just going to give you a little dip on the uh, fixed wing replica of an F-35B. Life size, it's to scale, right? So, so not an actual F-35, but a life-sized fiberglass model. Eventually, their job will be to maneuver these around the deck and guide the pilots into position. This will give them a feel for the real thing. Compared to a Harrier, didn't realize how big it was. 29-year-old <laughs> Emma Ranson from Liverpool, newly promoted to petty officer, will be the first flight deck leader on the Queen Elizabeth. So this full-sized replica is a glimpse into her own future. Amazing. I mean, what can you say about it? Just amazing. It's just going to help our training out loads. It's just going to really benefit us as aircraft handlers, moving this around the deck. Just unbelievable. I'm dead excited now. I can't wait just to get it moving. So Emma, with her new toy, now has a much more realistic way of training her team. 